Hey everybody, today is Saturday, March 7. Estamos a 7, ¿verdad? Yeah, March 7, 2015. And uh, I'm here located in a small town called Cacalostepec. This town is about uh, like 10 kilometers from the city and we just enter a really cool part of a small river that flows by and we just spotted really nice fish uh, similar to Anotropis cannot have the ID right now later on when we go into the water hopefully uh, we can spot and have a better a better look at them anyway this this place is really really nice as you can see we're in the middle of a canyon small canyon and uh, up there goes the road the international pan american road towards those small mountains that you see you can see and here are my friends jorge and and Ivan and these are the fish we just saw uh, at the moment they look uh, as they could be as anotropis maybe but still cannot say from above and we'll try to have a, a better shot there's a fish that's more blue then the other one there, there you have it. More blue, more bluish color. The other ones are more gold and light type. But I think it's the same cut. Maybe it could be Astianax SP. I just saw the fins have red fins. Vieron las aletas rojas de ese pez? Sí. Eh, no sé si pudiera ser igual el Notropis o algún otro. Pero es muy diferente, ¿no? Pero a la vez ahí está, ahí está otro. <clears throat> Cannot say right now. Maybe it's the same, uh, same. It has a more orange, orange type fins than the other ones. That one right there in the middle. And uh, later on, we'll we'll take some photographs of it, of it. Hopefully, we can catch them below water and can spot the name, the ID of the fish. So uh, right now, I'm just gonna change and uh, I'll get aquatic. Get the camera ready to go below and make the footage, okay? So that's Jorge in the red. Ahí está Jorge, Ivan. Y son amigos aquí de, de Cacalos. Chicos, man, saludos. En español no hay problema. Hola, ¿qué tal? Hola, saludos a todos. Saludos a todos. Así es. Ustedes son originarios de acá, ¿no? Así es. They're from here, from Cacalos, from the town of Cacalos. Uh, está como 7 kilómetros, ¿no? De la ciudad, 7, 10 kilómetros. Ajá, un aproximado de 10 kilómetros. About uh, 10, 10 kilometers from the from the city of Wahuapan. And well, they, they've been living here since they were a child. All their childhood, they know the river pretty, pretty well. And today, they're my tour guides for this area, okay? So, there you are, Ivan and Jorge, okay? Check out those rocks, guys. This is a uh, red quarry stone. A lot of red quarry in this area. In the low Mixteca region. There we go. Okay. There's more notropies there. I think we just found what we could consider the river of the notropies. Jovan, um, oye Jovan, ¿nos puedes contar un poco de la, de la historia que nos estabas contando de que cuando eras niño no no había estos peces aquí en este río? Y que inclusive tu, tu, tu abuelo dice que no recuerda que tampoco lo había, ¿no? 
Sí, pues de hecho... Eh, ¿Cómo está eso? A ver si nos puedes contar eh, nuevamente de la historia. Por ahí más o menos del año 2000 fue cuando empezó a ver como que una, una mayor población de estos peces, porque antiguamente no, 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 no se veían, sobre todo en este río no se veían todo el cauce, no, no, no se veían estos peces. Lo que habitaban eran unos cangrejos, este, ranas, renacuajos, pero sí el tipo de peces no, no, no veíamos. Eh, este siempre ha sido un camino de, de herradura, más que un río también ha sido un camino de herradura. Para llegar a los terrenos de cultivo de Texas, la gente que caminaba por el campo. Okay, so what Jovan, uh, what Jovan just said is that uh, he's telling a story that back in the days, even uh, when his grandfather was young, there was no fish in this river. Uh, he remembers that from the year 2000 from now, is that this fish started to appear in the river, but uh, all the locals that live around here, uh, they never remember and uh, to see any fish here, uh, not even the common charal fish could be found, they, they, they are telling. And especially these no this notropis that we're looking at right now, and they're all dispersed around the, this river in different pools. Uh, about in the year 2000, Giovanni just said that uh, they just started to appear and people, even the children, were very excited to see that all of a sudden the fish, this nice colorful fish was here. So many children came and with some nets and come play around, catch a few. And it was like a surprise, you know, all of a sudden the river had really nice, nice fish. So that's a, that's a very interesting fact. I don't know. I cannot say more, I don't know why, they don't know how or why too, but uh, well, that's, well, that's what Jovan just told and Jorge could tell us too about it. Jorge, tú también lo confirmas, ¿no? Sí, porque yo de, me acuerdo que del, del 98, más o menos, para tener una fecha venía yo y no veía yo peces. Igual mi papá me cuenta que antes no, no había peces. Y en el otro río que está allá abajo, hay una mayor población, pero por la contaminación fue ya. Okay, so what Jorge just said is the same that Giovanni just explained to me. Uh, both of them and even their grandfathers and their family remember that there was no fish here. And strangely just uh, from the 98 to the year 1998 to the 2000, they just started to appear. So uh, like a, you know, surprise, they don't know why. Their grandparents don't know why. Anyway, it was not it, this. This fish was not common. Cannot be seen here. Not even charales. Uh, only frogs and reptiles. But uh, no tropis. Well, it came to a surprise back in the from '98 to 2000. And back there, there's another river, but uh, below behind those mountains. But that that part of the river, there's uh, there's a town. Uh, the thing is, uh, black waters are being uh, thrown into the river, so down north to the north part of it, there's no fish anymore because of all of the pollution in the water. Okay, so we're going to walk a bit more to the south, and we'll see what uh, what more we can see. Hopefully the waterfalls. Let's go guys, vamos a las cascadas, no? A ver si, si, que tal están? dead fish there. I don't know why, probably the, the water, it's the dry season and water flow is very low. This pool is very crowded. And maybe the nitrate and phosphate is high. It's just uh, going crazy right now, I don't know. Look at that, he's dying. And right now Jorge is going to try to catch him, catch one of them. And there it is, look at the color in his stump, in his other part of the body. 
And there it goes, Jovan. I mean, they're dying, but they're still, they're still uh, by instinct. Es que es el instinto, ya. Yeah. Es, es, yeah. Yeah, see, yeah, it's a reflejo. I don't know if they're too old now. I don't know what could be. I don't have nothing to to test the water. I don't have water to test right now. Cannot say. Simply, those two of them are just uh, breaking out. I don't know why. Ya lo puedo atrapar. Okay, we catch him. Uh, let's take a look. Hay nada más. Ponlo en la en la. Hay nada más. Yo lo enfoco. Sácalo de la red, Giovanni. Si puedes, si nada más lo pones en la tina. Okay, so uh, let's see. That's the other one. Look, look at that. She's going down now. Yes, it's not tropis. Oh, look at that salmon colors. Really nice salmon colors in his app. Look at that. No, no, está herido. He's, he's, it's, it's the, it's el color. It's, it's his color. That's, that's his, that's his color. He's, he's not hurt. Sorry about that. <laughs> and I don't know why, but. This guy was was dying. Anyway, we'll put him back into the into the water and uh, what can what else can we do, huh? Maybe some bird will come. Algún pájaro venga y se lo coma mejor, no? Some uh, maybe he'll recover. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Many drips fill the flow bank. Where do you draw the line? Know thyself and do thine own self be true. Any other way is gonna make you feel good. Yeah, you got a reason to be here. And hey, maybe if we focus and we get it together, we could raise the human consciousness and make things better. Yeah. I know you think I'm a dreamer. Mother Nature 